Fire. All right, magnetic shot away. Magnetic shot is away. So, T2s are free now. T1s are not. Well, that's certainly going to make things a little more difficult now, isn't it? Um, standard issued steam. Hang on. Standard issue P1 pistol. Aware of some issues. Torpedoes on the impact, which is AZ, must hit the target at an angle close to 90 degrees to explode. Launch torpedoes on magnetic MZ may explode on their own before they reach the target. Okay, well, we only have access to um, P1s, I guess. Well, I mean, I guess we're going with a mostly a complement of T2s, because everything else is expensive now. The skipper can cook. Both of our engineer types are runners. They can walk and run faster or 10% faster than normal. Skeptical here is an expert, so you can do uh, headquarters stuff faster. And um, um, our radio operator is also 10% faster than everybody, which is interesting. It's super interesting. Um, Autosave. Did you guys see that? It autosaved. Which, I mean, yeah, like, I get it. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Like, is it possible to see it? Yeah, autosave one. Look at that noise. Look at that. You might notice some a little bit of a problem going on in this portion of my camera. It's because I have the window open with the fan on back here, and it's lighting up my green screen, so it's messing with the green screen settings. So We have information that crucial technology has been loaded on the freighter Norna. Norna. It's located at numbers. Correct. Excellent. Leave the station. Battle stations. Battle stations. All right, let's get her up. Let's get her up. We gotta take off after the Nurna. The Nurna. Nurnurn. Gotta go find the Nurnurn. Look into starboard. Look into starboard. Oh, here we go. I see the. That's gonna get. That's super weird. The the autosave. It's gonna freak me out. I can see three separate plumes of smoke. Three distinct plumes. There's a possibility that this one is actually two, one behind the other. But there's definitely three plumes for sure. Now that's an interesting thing that I hadn't thought of. <clears throat> so then you'll actually get like an, an early indication of how many ships you're going to be dealing with, which I think is pretty cool. Let's just carve down our speed a little bit. Oh, certainly glad we did. Um, okay. What we're going to do now is back up as fast as we possibly can. That's what we're going to do, because our ships that were here, and we saw the smoke over here, is now over here. So we're going to back up super Ricky Tick. Super duper Ricky Tick, so that we can get sort of like a 90 degree shot at them. Just slam her into full reverse here. So, what do we got? I see an Empire uh, Explorer. I see what is very likely another Empire Explorer. And I know you won't believe me. I know this is going to be crazy. But it's another Empire Explorer. So that's what it's looking like to me. All right. So that target is going to be roughly there. That target's going to be not quite there, but close to it. All right. So we want to keep on backing up for the time being. Let's just back up a little further. So I want to be... What? That's about a K. Let's slam on the brakes there. And we're going to dive. We're going to get real sneaky. We're going to get real sneaky because I want to play with the TDC and see if it works. I want to see if it works. I also want to play with these um, torpedo triggers because that sounds fun. All right. So not quite dead ahead. She should be out right about, um, right about there. There we go. All right. So that's the forward target. But I think it's also one of the farthest. This one might be closer. She's Swedish, though, so she's not a target. We can't shoot her. This one is also Swedish, so we only have one target. We only have a single target. Lock, please. There we go. And she is the farthest ship. 
<clears throat> so we have to be very, very careful here because if we shoot too early, our torpedo is going to hit this ship before it hits this ship. So we actually have to wait until this guy's basically gone past us. So we might actually want to move forward a little. We'll get entirely too close to this guy, but that's okay. That's going to be fine, I think. Yeah. All right. Okay, Skip. Let's start doing some things. What do you say? What do you say? Let's get her speed... Well, let's lock in her type first. She's an explorer. There she go. Right about there looks great. Six knots, apparently. Six nauticals, even. Um, give me this fella. We're gonna do a little boopity boop and find our angle on bow, bow, bow. Okay. So this is something like that. We actually might move this dot. Let's move this dot back here. That's pretty good. I'm getting... Again, it's never gonna be perfect because of parallax error. I'm getting 29 degrees to red. 29 to red. 29 to 9. And we'll track. Perfect. Okay. So we are tracking our targets. Now, we don't need torpedoes just yet, but I do want to start warming them. So let's warm up. Well, we only have T uh, T1s uh, really forward at the moment, so we'll warm that one up. I think we're just going to go with a single shot here. Okay, so I think we're going to go ahead and raise the periscope again here. We'll send Mezzamoon back to bed. All right, now, our target. You're looking at the sky. That's useless. Thank you for being useless. Wasn't that fun? Okay, let's see here. We're at almost a 90 degree angle. <clears throat> now, I just got to hope that the um, torpedo is not going to head off towards one of my other targets here. And by head off towards it, I mean blow it up on its way to this target. And that'll be annoying. I'm getting 83. That's pretty darn close. Can you stop staring at the waves, please? Would that be helpful? Yes. Um, where's my target, Skip? Uh, target, target, target. There we go. So, it's saying 85. That's 83. I mean, that's pretty damn close. Let's shoot in the middle. Let's say 84. Let's say 8. Come on. No, no, no. 80. A little bit. No, too many. Uh, yeah, that, that'll be fine. Screw it. I'm sure that's fine. Okay, so the gyros are almost perfect here. <clears throat> now, we have to make decisions. So, this is an AZ. I'm going to try a magnetic shot. I'm going to go with a magnetic shot. I'm going to go with a magnetic shot. See if I can get it to slide underneath and blow it up. Now, the draft on an Explorer is 8.7. We've got not an insequential amount of chop. So, I'm going to set this to 8 on the nose. I'm going to set this to 8 on the nose. And we're going to get a distance check. And I'm going to see if we can get the mag, the mag trigger to work. Get this right on out of the water so I can see her water line. She's loaded down with something. And... Fire. Alright, magnetic shot away. Magnetic shot is away. Oop, that's the wrong thing to press. 90 degrees. Yep, that one is actually dead on 90. That's a dead on 90 degree shot right there. You can see, you can only see one of these spars, and there's actually two. So this one is perfectly lined up with the other. So that's a 90 degree on the button. On the button. Eh. I worry she is seven knots as your measurements was when she was at an angle. Now, in previous builds, that was never a problem. I guess we're going to find out, right? I guess we're going to find out, because it was never a problem in previous builds. But that doesn't mean anything. That means nothing, realistically. All right. I didn't even... This must be... I'm guessing this is the Nona, the Norna, or whatever the hell it was, because 
Like, these are not not even viable targets. Then again, they may be uh, asking me to do some bad stuff. They may be asking me to do bad things. This looks like it's behind to me. It really, really does. So, it may be that uh, the game no longer allows you to take speed measurements when they're at an angle. And we're going to find out. That's what it's all about. Learning the new stuff. Gots to learn that new stuff, though. You gots to learn the new stuff, though. Come on, little Norna. I'm hoping you're the Norna. I really do. Although, it looks like this is a two-word name to me. So it's very, very possible this is not the Norna. Unless it's like the Empire Norna, which it could be, I guess. Well, it looks like a hit. It looks like a hit. It looks like a hit. I have a bot. Curses. All right, see if the magnetic torp is going to get her. Let's see. Okay, it didn't swap into shippy blowy uppy mode, but a magnetic shot at 8 meters exploded beneath our target, which is the Empire Commerce. The Empire Commerce has been torpedoed. All right. Perfect hit on the engine. I really do wish that it mattered, like that it was uh, like a necessity to, to hit it in certain areas. I do wish that was a thing, but unfortunately it's not. Unfortunately it's just not. Let's see if we can find the Norna. It looks like she's on a pretty bad downward cant. We might have killed her. That's the Nyland. So, where's our other friend? She's the Norna. Okay, the Norna is a Swedish ship. We are about to attack a hors de combat. An hors de combat. We have been ordered to sink a neutral target. Ordered to sink. Yes, please don't click any links. That's, def that's a bot. That is a bot. Holy crap, her bow's coming free. Did it snap off? Did I miss it? Aw. I did, didn't I? Yeah, I missed it. Cool. There we go. She's on fire now. We've got her burning, people. We've got her burning. We're going to slow down a bit here. Actually, we're going to slow down a fair bit here. And we're going to go a little bit further out. Actually, we're going to go a lot further out because these things have a tendency to smash India. Uh, I'd like to straighten her out a little bit. Let's go speed two. She's still burning. I, I don't really want to shoot her while she's burning. Just because, well, we're we're doing we're doing damage without having to pull the trigger, and that's usually a good thing. Um, speed one, please. She's burning merrily. How far were you when you shot that ship? Um, I was about one, just just shy of two k, supposedly, because this is where. Well, no. Because it was actually more like here. So it would have been a little... 1798. 1798 meters is how far away I was. I don't like that the it, the gun centers all by itself to a certain extent. Like, I, I, I want it to center when I leave the ship. Or leave the gun, not when I... Uh, see? It just every time, that's kind of annoying. I could see where it would come in handy, but... Hey, you. Sink faster. I demand it. The Norna. The Norna. You'd think shooting all those uh, pallets up front would be a good call. Especially with HE rounds. There we go. She should go abandoned momentarily here. We're gonna stop. Alright. How many meters away? 17-something. 1789, 1798, one of those. Alright, she's abandoned and burning. She should be going under. That should be the end of her. Which means we can get some pontoons. Lifeboat. Let's take a look. We do have a captain. And an officer. I think we'll take the two of them. We're going to take those two. Maybe I can finally find out what they're worth. Whoa! She sank quick, didn't she? Blub, blub, blub. That was fast. That was fast. Alright, the Norna was sunk. And we took two of her VIPs aboard our ship.